Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Kamilia Zahra Alamsyah and my BP number is 2010732032. And in this video, I would like to uh, explain and present uh, about discourse and conversa conversation. Uh, there will be two topics that I would like to explain, which are discourse and conversation one, and second, discourse and conversation two. And the topic, uh, in the first topic, I would like to explain three points. Points, which are what is conversation analysis, the history of conversation analysis, and the basic principles of conversation analysis or the core assumption. So, without any further ado, let's uh, bring uh, let's uh, come to the first uh, topic, which is uh, discourse and conversation. One. First, what is CA? So, the conversation is the process of people talking with each other. Conversation analysis is an approach to analyze uh, uh, an approach of an to the analysis of spoken discourse that looks at the way in which people manage their everyday conversational interactions. Conversation analysis works with a recording of spoken data and carries out careful and fine grained analysis. Fine grain grained analysis. Conversation analysis is involved in the study of the orders of talk and interactions. Conversation analysis is a rather in the four, different from established approach approaches in the social and human science. Conversation analysis focusing and look at first the ordinary everyday spoke discourse and aims to understand from a fine grained analysis of the conversation and how people manage their interaction and two how social relations are developed through the use of spoken discourse the history of conversation analysis so actually it was developed by Har Harold Garfinkel uh, where the, he studies about the conversation analysis is about the approach to the study of talk and interaction that grew out of the ethnomethodological tradition in sociology. The core focus of the ethnomethodology is small-scale social order scene through the common social knowledge of members of society of the forces that influence how individuals interpret the situations and message they encounter in the social words, world. Conversation analysis began to emerge from sociology as an independent area of inquiry oriented towards understanding the organizational area of inquiry orient, uh, uh, of the structure of talk which has influenced a number of the social science disciplines concerned with human communication. Now let's move to the third point which is basic conversation analysis principles or core assumption. So, uh, the core assumptions of conversation analysis consists of three, which are order is produced, orderliness, order is produced, sit, produced, situated, and occasionate, and last is order is repeatable and re recurring. First about order is produced, orderliness. An order does not occur for its own accord, nor does, does it pre-exist. Uh, but rather of the coordinate practice of the participant who achieve orderliness and the interact and then interact. The second one is order is produced, situated, and occasioned. Order is the produce by the participants then, themselves for the conversation in which it occurs. The participants themselves orient to the order being produced and their behavior reflects and indexes that order. And last is order is repeatable and recurrent. The pattern of orderliness found in conversation are repeated not only in the talk of an, indiv of an individual speaker but across the groups of speakers. The achieved order is therefore the result of a shared understanding of the methods by which order is achievable. Now let's move to the second topic which is discourse and conversation two which have seven points of it uh, and I would like to jump to the first point 
which is the key concept of CA. The view of ordinary conversation as the most basic form of talk is the key issue, the key issue of conversation analysis. The conversation itself is the main way in which people come together, exchange information, negotiate, and also maintain social relations. CA put focuses on the analysis of the text for its argument and explanation in the process of production and interpretation of discourse. Now is transcription conversation conventions. Particular trans transcription conventions are used in conversation analysis. It used uh, as the it is the glossary of transcript symbols given below meant to explain the major conventions for rendering details of the vocal productions of uterans in talk and interactions that are most current use in CA publication. Next is turn taking. It is related to how people take and manage turns in spoken interactions. There are numbers of ways of, in which people can signal to the, to the end of the turn, such as completion of synthetic unit or through the use of falling intonation, then pausing, and others. Next is adjacency pairs. So it is the R, the uterans produced by two successive successive speakers in a way that the second uterans is identified as related to the first one as an except, expected follow up that uterans. There are second uh, two. There are two uh, kind of adjacency pairs, which are adjacency pairs across culture where it's important for us to see uh, the adjacency pairs uh, related to cultures because it differs each, uh, each others and differs uh, according uh, the cultures. Uh, and also the adjacency pairs and stage of the conversation that uh, use a new terms, uh, that may play more than one role in the conversation. Next is preference organization. There is a certain amount of freedom in responding to some first pair parts. For example, a compliment can be followed by an accept or a reject. Thus, some pair parts may be preferred and others may be dispreferred. For example, a question may be followed by an expected answer, uh, which is called the preferred second pair part, or an unexpected non answer that preferred the Pre this is the dispreferred second pair part. And next is overlap. Overlap is one of the obvious and common differences between scripted, scripted interaction and live interaction. It is indicate, indicated with squ square brackets, which opening brackets indicates the exact moment of overlap on set. And while the, record, uh, the closing record uh, brackets is not always present, but if it present, it uh, mean that clearly defined employment uh, in the close bracket. And last is uh, no, sorry. In cases where there is overlapping talk, it is often necessary to interrupt the in the transcription of a turn that talk at a point where the talk of one speaker is incomplete because of the limitation of spaces. On the page, a speaker may also use overlap as a strategy for taking turn, as well as to prevent someone else from taking the turn. And the last point that I would like to explain on this whole uh, video and a whole explanation is repair. So repair is uh, the way speakers correct things, correct things they or someone else has said, and check they have uh, are they have understand. Uh, in a conversation, repair is often done through the self-repair and other repairs, repairs based on what the speakers or the hearers want to use. So that's become the end of my uh, explanation and presentation. I would like to say thank you for all uh, for everyone that uh, watched this until the end. Uh, and sorry for mistake. I'm going to close it with Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.